The structure of it you see here's how it works the way it's designed now, now pay attention the base of the pyramid is in direct relation to the height of it let me give an example if this pyramid was here that's the base of the pyramid and the it went that high up how do you think that would stand? Yes, right there. And the minute the wind blows, the minute any fall, all right. But they say, I read once that time, the pyramid, the time fears the pyramids, they'll ever be, they'll be there forever. Because of the way they, they're structured. The, the wind, everything blows off. But because of this, the base of the pyramid is in relationship to the height. The base, the wider the base, what? It's all in here. Let's use some examples. Bruce Lee. We said him. Right? Muhammad Ali. Hmm. Their height went so high, everyone on, Earth, on the world can see him. Because of this. Then this, then this, then this. If you just increase your base, in terms of physical conditioning, you'll jump the height of your pyramid instantly. Period. And in Kempo, it's very clear. Conditioning and guts will take over where all this ends. Okay. Right, now, we did the first one. What's the second one, see? He was to follow me. <laughs> it's free. That way, to neurologically, primitively lock it in. Mechanically, you've got to practice, but remember, once it's locked in, it's the instinct that sets it free. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay, so if the